our assumption is true in many of the cases. So you see this building here has been isolated from the uh, ground by these edges, but in some other cases, like here, so if I click between classification number and classification, you see that this part is actually a uh, building, but this has not been isolated from the uh, ground because the high difference here is not very high. So in order to uh, get uh, solve this problem, we just execute a similar, a similar process than the one from before, but in this case we find with edges, so edges that are not as strong as the ones from before. So you see here we have many more um, classified areas now, and actually way too, too, too many areas. So we want now to uh, get rid of those areas that are not really uh, not ground. So for that we are going to classify now the green areas that are very close to the red areas. So we are going to take the weak edges that are in contact with the uh, strong edges with the idea of closing these buildings here. And for that we use an algorithm which is um, very easy tool and is new in Cognition 8, which is named uh, Pixel-based uh, object resizing. And what we do is to grow up the uh, red areas into the green areas five times. And this is quite fast. So you see now that if we go back to the example from before, this building here is now surrounded by strong edges only, or red objects. So now we have almost all, all the buildings isolated from the background. So we don't need the um, weak edges anymore. We can now unclassify them. And we keep only the important edges. And you see here now very nicely all the objects which um, are separated but are not red. So are were all um, green objects which were um, uh, weak um, edges. We can now, we don't need those objects anymore so I can also segment it to uh, have as a few objects as possible in the project with the idea of um, saving memory. So now once I have these edges, we are going to um, grow up the area included within the uh, edges and in order to separate uh, neighbor buildings and to create meaningful objects in the image. And for that we use again uh, this uh, pixel-based object precision algorithm. So you see the effect here. So what we have done, maybe we can open the process so that you see what are the parameters there. So what we have done in this process is to grow up all the unclassified objects into the, temp, uh, the class temp, uh, class 1, which were the class, the red class, but only as long as the um, elevation was decreasing, with the idea that no ground uh, grows into buildings, but the buildings uh, get classified or get uh, segmented as one object. And now we can unclassify the red class. We don't need it anymore. And what we have achieved with this um, context-based uh, edge classification and uh, segmentation is a, a segment nice segmentation of the image in which elevated objects have been separated from the rest. So now we only need to classify them. So here the assumption we follow is that, of course, one elevated object is more elevated than the surrounding. And this is um, very easy to implement in recognition once you have a meaningful segmentation like is the case. So we go to the classify ground um, module and here we see a first classification process. And here we have a um, feature that just compares the average elevation of an object with the elevation of the immediate uh, neighbors. 
and if uh, this comparison is positive, then this object is an elevated object. Let's execute it. And here you see the result of the segmentation. And if we go back to the object with which we have some uh, problems during the segmentation, you see that this has not been classified. And this is because the assumption is that we, done, we have done for the first classification uh, was not right here. So you see this object is not uh, more elevated than the, surrounded, than the surrounding objects because the surrounding objects were also buildings. But now once we have this first segmentation, sorry, this first classification in which we identified the very easy to uh, identify buildings, we have added some context information to the image the project. So now we can say, now classify all the buildings that are um, more elevated than the surrounding, not including the already classified buildings. And we also set up here in the algorithm some uh, more context, not only the immediate neighbors, but uh, a buffer of 20 should be, 20 should be ta taken into account. So as you see here, as we um, classify objects, we are adding information to the image and the um, uh, upcoming processes or classifications are um, more uh, sophisticated and accurate. So yes, by executing the second process you can see now in green all the building parts that were not classified in the first classification but in the second one. And you see that most of those buildings or all of them were actually um, buildings that were surrounded by um, higher buildings. So now um, we have our uh, ground, non-ground classification on raster. So we can assume here that all the unclassified uh, objects are ground and we uh, miss now the classification in the point cloud. And for that, I'm going to use, in order to classify now the point cloud, I'm going to use a um, algorithm named uh, LiDAR file export, will, which will be uh, soon available in the community for download. This is an algorithm we have um, developed uh, in the last weeks here, and we are still in testing it internally, but it's going to be available in the community within the next days. And with, with, with uh, this algorithm, we can um, export a new last file, which will include the same points than the input file, plus a classification. And we can set up here the classification to say classify uh, the points that are uh, non-classified in the image and that have an elevation uh, similar to the uh, elevation we have in this surface model. And how similar can be set up with this tolerance here. So I will say that all the points that are 10 centimeters um, are up, up or below this uh, surface model will be classified as um, ground. So we execute that and this exports a, a new last file. Look for it. So this file got um, exported now. And in order to look at this uh, point cloud, uh, we are going to open a uh, the viewer of the software um, LK360. So this software allows us a very nice uh, display of um, point clouds. And what you see here is the classification we have exported with the Phoenix. So you see that in uh, vegetation areas, all the vegetation is not classified as ground. So orange points are ground and the grid points are not ground. So you see how nicely here the ground classification has been performed for uh, vegetation areas and for building areas the uh, points within uh, between buildings still remain classified as um, ground and the points on the roofs are not classified. So we can now use this point cloud to create a surface model in the raster format or just to uh, process it further to classify vegetations, buildings and so on.